said, don't move, I will shoot you. So he stayed like this until he go out. Caught on camera, a string of armed robberies and attempted armed robberies. Police say all of them happening early this morning and all on the city's southeast side. Police believe at least two are connected and they're now trying to determine if they all are. The latest happened about 5.30 at Marathon Food Mart on Prospect near Keystone Avenue. The first happened four hours earlier at Mobile on Shelby Street near Troy. And that's where we find 24-hour News 8's Elizabeth Choi. And Elizabeth, police have surveillance video of those robberies. That's right, Dave. Actually, at least three of the robberies were caught on surveillance video. Uh, it appears to be in at least two of those robberies, the same two suspects, and that's because uh, they are wearing the same clothes. You see that in the video. Here at Mobile off of uh, Shelby Street near Troy Avenue, they have surveillance cameras surrounding their building. I spoke to the owners here. They're hoping by passing along that footage, by sharing that with us, that somebody will recognize the person responsible and contact police. It's just after 1 a.m. The clerk takes advantage of a little downtime playing on a cell phone. Then a customer walks in, or at least he thought. It's a mass robber with a gun. Before he even gets behind the counter, the clerk knows exactly what's happening. He raises both hands, then fills the suspect's bag with cash from the register. Next, he hands over a cell phone and then more cash from the other register. He tries to open the safe, but he can't. Then the clerk is forced to hand over the store's phone, all while being told if he doesn't comply, he'll be shot. And that's the last time that clerk will ever step foot in the store. He's a, like 20-year-old young kid. He say he don't want to, you know, die. So he said he don't want to work. Mike Singh owns mobile. Although his clerk station is enclosed with bulletproof glass, the clerk didn't close the door. Singh says the suspect got away with around $3,000. Just up the road on State Street, Village Pantry was also robbed. The suspect was gone before police arrived. At Shell on Madison Avenue, two masked men try to rob the clerk. One goes to the side door to get into the clerk's station, but it's locked. The bulletproof window is not, however. Gurwinder Singh and his dad own the station. After his dad tricked the suspects, they ran off. They were not getting the money. Uh, my, dad, my dad offered, hey, listen, I'll give you the money. And he moved on the side, and he wasn't on the phone with anybody. You know, he, he acted like he was calling somebody, and they just took off. The final robbery took place at Marathon Food Mart. A customer turns around, only to have a gun pointed right at his head. He drops to the floor, hands up. As the suspects try to get into the enclosed area, they run off when they don't succeed without any money. The suspects in the video appear to be wearing the same clothes as the two involved in the shell robbery. It's just unfortunate. Uh, we're, you know, we know we work hard and somebody's coming to try to take it. Luckily, nobody's, no, nothing got hurt or nobody took money. Now, as that owner just said, fortunately, there were no reported injuries in any of these incidents. However, those suspects still at large. If you have any information that could help police in this investigation, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. That number is area code 317-262-TIPS. Live on the city's south side, Elizabeth Choi, 24-hour News 8. Elizabeth.